Hi everyone, welcome to NAB 2015. My name is Liron and I'm the product specialist of the VJ server and I'm going to show you a short demonstration of this product. As you can see, the current configuration of the server is six inputs and two outputs. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six inputs and two player channels. On the right monitor, that's the GUI itself. On the left side, you can see the panels. Each panel control a different channel. So I've got six recording channels and two playout channels. On the right side, this is the bin, which uh, all the clips and the recordings and the playlists I'm created stored in there. So in order to load one of them, I just need to go to the bin, select the specific clip which I want, drag it to the output, and you can see on the left that is ready for layout or editing. Now, one of the main features of the server is the ability to, uh, to do direct export. So the moment I started the recording, the files are available for editing. Just need to drag them to the timeline and voila. No need to wait until the recording will be over for that. One of the benefits of the VJ GUI is that it's very simple to use and I will show you how it works. I've got four panels over here. I will start record in each and every one of them. On the right side, you can see the new four recordings. Now these panels are bidirectional. That means I can recording and then load these recordings for playout. So I just need to drag the specific recording that I want to work with and you can see it over here. There are many things I can do during that. I can create subclips, for example. I can mark in point, out point, and press create subclip. Now a new subclip appears in the bin. I can drag this subclip to a different playout channel. After I loaded the recording to the playout channels, there are several things I can do. First, to create in regular subclips. Just need to mark in point. Let's go a little bit forward. Mark out points and create subclips. Then you can see in the bin, two new subclips appear. After I've done with the subclip creation, I can also create a playlist from the whole clips. So for that, I just need to mark the specific clips that I want in the bin. I marked five clips, right click on the mouse, create playlist. Then I have a new playlist of these five clips. In order to prepare it for playout, just need to drag the playlist to one of the uh, output channels and you can see I've got play loaded playlist with five clips inside. So to conclude, the VJ is a production server that can be used for any kind of studio production such as news, soap opera and morning shows.